All right, so while I get my drill ready, I'm going to explain to you guys kind of what's going on right now with my truck, because I think I have found out why I'm having torque converter locked up and unlocked. Uh, so what it's doing is it's locking and unlocking while I'm driving, uh, which makes it feel like it's slipping going into overdrive when it's not necessarily overdrive because my transmission fluid is perfectly fine. Um, this is oil right here in the center, but one side is from my dipstick, one side is from a transmission bottle, and I personally smell it myself. Um, and you know, when, you, when you're thinking things, you kinda, you know, you can imagine something that's not really true. Uh, so I wasn't sure if I was like, you know, kinda smelling burnt clutch material or not. Uh, so I had my wife smell it. She knows nothing about transmission fluid, and she said they smelled exactly the same. They look about the same. I mean, what's on the dips, it's a little bit lighter pink. Uh, so it's a little bit thinner, uh, but it's not burnt whatsoever. I did some research and I found a forum that said your third brake light can go out and cause your torque converter to lock and unlock. Sure enough, we were out of town. It was Thanksgiving. We were at her mom's house and everything. I'm going through security footage at the house of me leaving the house and I'm looking my third brake light doesn't work. I'm like, no freaking way. So I went ahead and I ordered one. Uh, but first, let me show you guys that the torque converter or the third brake light isn't working. Shit, my bad. You'll see these light up. That does not light up. As you saw, third brake light is not working. It should turn on when I hit the brakes and it is not. And for whatever reason, Ford has some weird wiring uh, that the third brake light controls when the torque converter locks and unlocks. Um, and you have torque converter locked up halfway through third gear and then it stays locked the entire time in overdrive. So the issue is, is that it's not locking up in third gear or it is unlocking. And when it's shifting into overdrive, it's unlocking and relocking, making it feel like a slip, but I have no RPM change whatsoever. So that camshaft position sensor that I changed did not work, uh, did not change anything. Um, in that video you guys saw, I was still kind of having issues in the beginning. I think it was relearning because that kind of stopped towards the end. Uh, but I drove the truck, I had a detail over an hour away and driving there, I was idling in a parking lot, eating my lunch and it had some rough idle. I looked up, you know, what it was, camshaft position sensor, said it ended in B, that was the one I had. Uh, and they said that that's a common issue that Ford released one in like 2012 or something that ends in part number C that actually fix, fixes that rough idle. So I already ordered that one. I'm gonna return this one. It's got like 200 miles on it. So gonna get it returned. New one is already ordered, but I've got a third brake light right here. We're gonna pull the old one out and see if that fixes it. I hope so. Either way, this third brake light looks sick. Let's go ahead and open it up so you guys can see it. Uh, because, you know, I think it was like 30 bucks, 30 or 40 bucks for this third brake light. And it has a strobe feature to where when you hit the brakes, it strobes or you can turn it off. So it's from IJDM. It's the same company that made the cab lights I bought. I bought this off eBay. Um, you know, a lot of the third brake lights look really generic and cheap and just cruddy. There was one that I really liked. I really, really liked the way it looked, but it had horrible reviews of people saying it not sealing properly. So I went ahead and got this and it's not a foam gasket, which I'm not happy about. So I've already ordered new gaskets. They're not here yet. So I'm gonna put it on. Um, it's not supposed to rain for a couple days. So hopefully they get here in time, but it's got this switch right here. And in the instructions, it says that that switch is basically to turn the strobe feature on and off. If you turn the switch off, it will not strobe when you hit the brakes, just this will apply. If you have the strobe feature on, when you hit the brakes, this will flash five times and then stay lit. Uh, so I'm gonna have it flash. I mean, it doesn't affect me, I can't see it, but if there's someone behind me and I hit the brakes, it's gonna flash whether they be on their phone, looking over their shoulder, messing with their kids in the back seat, picking up a french fry that fell, whatever, it might catch their attention and they won't rear end me. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and put this in, but I love the way it looks smoked uh, around the outside but also red and then it's just got the chrome center for the cargo light um i did notice my cargo light has never worked i just figured those bulbs were burnt out i didn't think anything about the third brake light working for whatever reason i never had this issue until i tuned the truck i don't know if that has any tie-in with it that it changed you know my shift points whatever i'm gonna stop rambling on i'm gonna get up there 
change out this third brake light. I don't know if that's a good thing that that came out that easy. All crusty dusty. It doesn't appear to have been leaking. Uh, some people said the moisture in my floorboard could be from this gasket. It doesn't appear to have been leaking. The gasket's for all the way intact. There's no water spots or anything in there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys up close. So old one, new one, just pop the bulbs out of the back. Uh, I'm gonna keep this just in case. So one cargo light, completely burnt up. Brake light, ooh, wow. It's like black inside there. Let me try and show you guys. So it is like black inside there. And this bulb is like super, super burnt up. See, all three of the lights are burnt up. I am gonna save this just in case for whatever reason I may need it. If I can figure out how the hell to put this back together. A little bit on the spectrum, it'd be all right. Go ahead, throw this puppy in there. Get you guys where you can see some plug and play action. You know, cause third brake light video is super interesting, right? But this might help you guys. My, my hood gap video on my Chevy did very well cause a lot of you guys had that issue. Hopefully, you know, you guys don't have this issue, but if you do, hopefully this fixes it. Uh, I read a, a forum where a guy actually had this issue and he didn't know, and he was driving around with it doing it, replaced his transmission, spent like $3,000 on a transmission, still did it, burnt up the new transmission, had to buy another one, did all this within 26,000 miles. So hopefully this saves it for you guys and you know, you don't have these same issues. Doesn't fit perfectly. You can kind of see the outline of where it was before that the other one was bigger, but that looks a thousand times better in my opinion. Oh, by the way, I did just order my Starlight sound deadening, the sound deadening roller. I have my headliner material. I need to order glue and my cab moldings. And we will be doing the Starlight headliner in the F-250 very soon. So if you guys wanna see that, see how it's done, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to do some more stuff to this truck. You know, four inch turbo back. We've got the tuner. I'm gonna do some lighting stuff. I'm not really going for appearance stuff right now. I wanna focus on the interior. I wanna do some motor stuff injectors i've got that turbo on the bench i'm gonna powder coat it bitter compressor wheel it's got the banks turbine housing on it you know i'm trying to make this thing 350 low or high 300s you know 350 to high 300s maybe low 400s i want it reliable but still kind of fun uh because the motor can hold up to it trans is supposed to hold to around 400 so if i can have some fun with it and you guys enjoy it Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to make the 7.3 a little fun, a little rowdy. Gonna do some uh, racing here soon. Gonna get some of my buddies, do some rolls and stuff like that, some action with the 7.3. So if you wanna see the 7.3 dumping coal, hauling ass, things like that, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let's see if this works. Is it working? I don't know, I can't see it. That's working, and that ain't worked before. Hey, that looks sick. Not even gonna lie. Shut the door. Hit that car to light. Oh my gosh, that looks sick. Did it do the, the strobe thing? I don't know, because I couldn't see it. I'll have to watch this video. But that thing is money. I like that. I'm happy with that. That was a good purchase. 35 bucks on eBay. Super quick shipping. I'll link the down below the one I used. Like I said, I paid for it, not sponsored whatsoever. I was just kind of picky. I didn't want anything weird, cheesy, third brake light. I wanted something simple and clean. I got just that. Very happy with it. Carter lights turned off. That's the third brake light, full circle around. Not gonna be color matching or anything. Just gonna be leaving that alone. Honestly, then I'm gonna pull the color match headlights out. I just want this thing to look clean, simple, and be fun. Uh, got some stuff coming up for this thing. You guys are gonna enjoy it. Just gonna throw it out there. 05 up axle swap it's in the works it's in the works if you're wondering how bright the cargo light is i'd say it's pretty freaking bright i mean shit that's worth 35 bucks right there because uh, there's a company that makes them with pods integrated that i was looking at but they're like 350 bucks but i mean 
that's pretty good for just a cargo light. I mean, iPhone does pretty good at nighttime, but uh, sun is setting. I mean, sun's completely below the horizon. Camera's not wanting to focus, but sun's completely below the horizon. And that is how bright that thing is. All right, last one, I promise. But look at that. The sun's going down more, and I'm seeing how much brighter this thing is. That is lighting up the woods. A third brake light. Go buy that right now. Like, not sponsored whatsoever. Uh, I, JDM, made it. They're the company that I bought my uh, cab lights from. Go buy one of those. It's like 36 bucks on eBay. Like, it looks slick, nice, clean design. And, I mean, speed right, trips. And we are in the truck. We still have the trailer behind us. So, you know, we still got a little weight. Water tank's pretty empty, though. So, I mean, probably realistically, whole trailer weight, everything included, around 1,500 pounds. Nothing crazy. I've got the 80 horse daily driver tune loaded up right now. I've already drove it. I had a detail this morning about 40 minutes away and I got to see how this thing shifts. And guys, I think we fixed the problem. So do a little driving around real quick. Show you guys. So here's, we're in second right now. Third. overdrive right there shifted perfect not a single issue before it was stuttering so before when it would go into overdrive it would like that's it stick it would hesitate um i don't know how to describe it it was something you could feel but it wasn't showing up on the rpms anything um trans fluid looked perfectly fine now i'm sure after a little while it would have ruin something because what was happening my torque converter was locking and unlocking and what that causes is high trans temps get this light out of your guys' eyes and basically over a while it would have burned up my torque converter and eventually would have burnt up my transmission so when the torque converter goes out it can not only raise the temperatures of the fluid in the transmission make the transmission run hotter uh, but then it will also cause the transmission to go out because it's going to overheat burn up your clutch packs burn up your shift solenoids and we fixed that with a third brake light uh, really could have just replaced the bulb probably would have been like 10 bucks at AutoZone probably like four bucks on Amazon uh, but I bought a whole new third brake light and I absolutely love it you guys saw the nighttime shots with the cargo light that thing is ridiculous when I park my truck sideways in front of my house it lights up my neighbor's house so um, don't have a tonner cover like I do and you have stuff in the bed or you're just trying to work on something behind the truck it's amazing it's like having a pod in your bumper it, it's so cool it lights up everything but we're in third gear right now and we're in overdrive not a single issue didn't hesitate didn't act like it was slipping nothing it's driving perfectly fine um all it was was a third brake light i don't know what's in ford's wiring that causes that uh but there's correlation to the torque converter locking and unlocking based on your third brake light so don't be like the guys in the forums and ruin transmissions um, when it's slipping bad i was this close i mean this close to just ordering a built transmission for this thing now I don't have to for a while. This transmission will probably last me, I'd say at least another 100,000 miles. My fluid's pink, uh, doesn't smell burnt. I don't have any slipping anywhere else. It was just an overdrive. And for whatever reason, it would randomly do it whenever I took off really hard, if I floored it. It didn't do it every time, but sometimes it would. And I'm guessing when I'm flooring it, the torque converter was locking and unlocking. Uh, so sometimes it would stay locked up and then other times it would unlock and relocked and it was causing this thing to jerk back and forth and i know damn good well that's not good for the torque converter that's not good for the transmission so luckily it was probably only like that for i'd say five or six hundred miles i didn't even drive a thousand miles with it like that so it could have been a lot worse than what it was uh, but thankfully i read some forums read some facebook posts um in a couple different 7.3 groups on facebook and 
I just stumbled upon someone saying, check your third brake light. And I replaced the third brake light and it went away. It wasn't the camshaft position sensor. Now I do have the new sensor that ends in C. Uh, it's getting delivered Friday, I believe. Today's Wednesday. Um, so it'll be coming in Friday. I'll probably throw that in off camera. You guys already saw how to replace it. Uh, but I'm, I'm so happy. That looks like Lacey Blair's truck, just on ugly wheels. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad this is all it was, was just a third brake light. Super simple fix. So if you guys are having any torque converter locking, unlocking issues, check your third brake light. I guarantee it's burnt up. Uh, and if it's not that, I apologize. Torque converters are not cheap. Uh, if you get a decent one, they're like minimum $1,000. Um, and then if you're going for a transmission, you're, you're talking quite a bit of money. I'm grinding on the things I write, fighting through the sleepy nights. And still, man, I'm getting screwed. Haven't I paid my fucking dues? Algorithms pick and choose. We're all slaves to what they do. Wait, no, it's a gift. I can go from poor to rich. If you figure out to switch to get to the top of it. I don't know. I don't care. I'm pulling out my fucking truck is back home ran perfectly fine shifts perfectly fine uh you guys saw when i was recording it was like bright blue skies this is like 20 minutes later and it is solid black out here i don't know what the hell happened but if you guys made it in the video drop a like on it hit the subscribe button starlight headliner kit is completely ordered got it going on the truck here real soon cab lights starlight the roof molding sound detonating all already ordered on the way here hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna do a custom headliner as well. This isn't just black suede, tan suede, anything like that. A custom headliner, we're gonna do some custom stars. So if you guys are interested in stuff like that, hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned, hit the bell, hit the like, you know, all the typical stuff. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, be fucking great y'all, love y'all.